Today I'm in a location that's sometimes referred to as the loneliest part of England. I'm up on the high moors not far from the small town of Bruff in Cumbria, an area called Red Gill Moss. I'm here to visit the crash site of a Curtis Tomahawk, an American single-engine fighter plane that went down in 1943. But first, I want to say up front that though this is an area of outstanding natural beauty, there are hidden dangers that people should be aware of before attempting a trip here. This area is notorious for shake holes, sinkholes in other words. Sinkholes occur when the limestone bedrock is eroded over time by acid produced by vegetation. When they collapse inward and fill with water, they can be deadly to animals and humans. This is a bleak landscape. It feels like you're on the surface of another planet. I did my best to follow the quad bike tracks that ran close to my plotted route, but there is no defined path to the actual wreckage site, so it pays to be careful, especially once you have gone beyond the boundary fence clearly marked on the map. At 12.55 hours on the 10th of February 1943, Flight Officer Harry Wright took off from Catrick to undertake a local flying exercise to familiarise himself with the area. It's not certain what happened, but it's thought that Harry might have been turning the plane around in thick fog when it struck the ground. I noticed something sticking up in the distance and here it is, it's a large part of the wreckage so this looks like the actual impact site I was looking at the the little piece of wreckage a little bit further over and thinking You know, just looking at that small piece of wreckage and thinking, you know, how how bad it must have been. That's a stupid thing to say, how bad it was. Um, but then, when you come here and you see the the crater and you see the wreckage, it's been sitting here for well, for years since 1943. They searched for Harry and the plane, but it took several attempts over three days to find the crash site, due to thick fog. The main body of the plane came to rest and parts of the wreckage remains here some 77 years later. Some parts were salvaged in the 1970s, such as the engine, propeller and tail fin. Parts are in various museums and one of the wings can be found in the Aircraft Museum in Sunderland, next to Nissan. Flight Officer Wright is buried in Catrick Cemetery in North Yorkshire. He was 29 years old and married. I found some wreckage. Apparently it is scattered all over this moorland. The flight came down in fog on the 10th of February 1943 and it was Flight Officer Wright. He was killed. I always wonder how these things happen but Nature, you know, you get caught in cloud, you're literally flying blind. Flight officer right, well, there'll be, well, there'll be living relatives who maybe come up here, or maybe don't. It's, it's 
it's really dangerous. It's clearly marked on the Ordnance Survey maps that this is an area of um, extreme danger, sinkholes. And I've, I've had an episode myself, I went in right into my knees. You've got to take notice of these things when you see them on the map, it's not a joke. So I'm going to start heading back now. I'm going to try and retrace my steps because, as I say, it's it's very boggy and it's very dangerous. So I'm going to head back now. No more filming. Just get back, get safe, be safe. When I get onto the track, I'll be happy. So that's it for this trip. A very careful walk back to more solid ground and back to the car. But please remember, if you do plan to visit this site, please take care. And I'll see you on the next one. <laughs>